Hey guys, I'm Asa the Third, and I'm gonna show you my methods that I use to make VBA Link and Hamachi connection faster. Um, my method isn't really that difficult. It works for Pokemon Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green, uh, and for Mega Man Battle Network 6, and for Mario Tennis, and for uh, other games also that may be able to connect to VBA. But I will tell you that in this tutorial, and be sure to pause if you need to pause. Uh, it'll be fine. Just go back if you need to see something again. And all right, so let's go. So first of all, there's three elements that we're going to be looking at. Our computer, VBA Link itself, and Hamachi. And the first that we're going to be looking at first is going to be our computer, because I, I, I do believe that's the most important thing uh, in order to do this whole thing. So on your computer, you need to make sure that you don't have many programs open, all right? And when I say programs, I mean things like your internet browser, Skype, an antivirus software that might be running a scan, or I don't know, a video, like a, a different program, say for instance, I don't know, Movie Maker and it's rendering a video. Be sure if you're gonna play VBA Link and Hamachi, you're gonna get a battle and stuff like that. Be sure that you don't have those things. Now, if you're unsure as to what programs may be running, you can go and press Control Alt Delete on your computer if you have Windows, and then it'll take you to the screen and you click Task Manager, or you can go to Start and Run and type in Task Mgr X, and it'll take you to the Task Manager that will show you what programs would be running. And then it depends on whether those things are things that you've opened. Be sure not to close things that like the computer has opened itself. Say for instance, things like, I don't know, uh, idle window processes or something. Be sure to leave those things alone. But other, other than that, any programs that you might have open, uh, be sure to close those. All right, here's an important part on our VBA. Uh, we're gonna make sure we have these settings by going to frame skip. And what we're gonna do here, you're just gonna make sure your VBA is just regular, what it, you usually have it at when you have it playing at normal speed when you're not connecting. So mine is frame skip one, no throttle. Uh, I usually keep my video at two, but you'll see I'll change it later on. Uh, I'll ke I keep these settings with synchronized on and you know real time clock, IPS patching, uh, PNG formats down here and stuff. Um, yeah, save type is automatic and you can't see it, but uh, yeah, let's move that and uh, uh, where's it at? 180, 28 flash K. Um, let's see, let's put it back. All right, so then we go to sound, sounds just on, everything's like that. You do all that. Priority, this is important, make sure it's highest. Um, joypad filter, that's just uh, whatever. So. Uh, link, wireless adapters checked. Make sure your link timeout is at least 10,000. This is an important part right here that a lot of people don't know. That basically means how long it takes for your BBA until it's paused to allow it to disconnect and stuff. Usually, if VBA is keeping it set at 2,000, but put yours at 10,000. You can even put, you know, you'll have to, you have to do it at 10,000. Make sure network's checked. And we're, begin we're gonna be connecting to one of my friends in a moment, so hold on for that. All right, so essentially I'm about to be connecting to one of my friends by my 20. We're on Hamachi right now, and then it's like, okay, so, okay. Um, I am ready. We've established who's gonna be server. Um, I was gonna be server, but make sure what you do is that you first tell them when you have the server up. If you're a client, just don't go automatically connect. Just make sure they say server is up before you just go and connect. So server up. And that's when you connect. Like, uh, and you just wait until they do it. All right, so finally we connected and now it's like OMG, we are like so ready to just go. And make sure you don't open the game before you actually connect, that is something important. So we're just gonna go and hurry up and go to the Pokemon Center like where we're supposed to go. Okay, we're just looking uh, looking ugly quality as ever. And so now we're in the Pokemon Center, and essentially what we're going to do, we're just going to do regular here, you know, everything's just, you know, what you would usually do. All right, save the game, and now the other player, okay, so Saber usually becomes leader, and so what the important part here to do is, uh, yeah, okay, I'm just going to tell that we're, I'm the uh, leader, and the most important part here is for you to pay attention, because this is the part that makes sure the VBA is the fastest, so I'll click in okay, and so what you're going to do here is wait till it goes to the screen, that's like when the lady says, I'll connect you to the, or I'll bring you to the room now, which will come in like two seconds because the VBA is being slower. I have to advise you because I am using a screen recorder. This is going to be 80 bit slower for me, but it should be faster than you. So now that she's saying it, 
here's where I just go and start recording and just be like, okay, so the whole object of this prime here is to make sure that you pause the VBA as long as possible uh, at this point. Okay, I'm just going to name it LOL. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Uh, yep. So the whole thing right this is, okay, well, well, okay, with well, recording, okay, make sure you go to Microsoft Video One, and I usually leave the compression quality at 75, uh, because that makes the, uh, the file size not that big, because you leave it at 100, it's going to be like a really big file size, but anyway, the whole point of this thing, like, it seems like if you continue, if you pause VBA a lot during this time, it seems to go faster. So what I do, I usually change the frame skip to like six or four or five, or I never change it to like nine or anything, or leave it at one, but I do change it to like one of those in between things. And so at this point, I just make sure everything's on, the priority is on, and at this point, I usually press control P, which is pause, and then I go to the VBA, like, I mean, to the Hamachi window and be like, wait for a couple of seconds i usually wait for like 20 seconds because i mean i don't know it seems like you know, like i said the longer you wait the easier and faster it seems to go so after that's done uh make sure you just go and unpause your vba by pressing control p or go to file and uh click on you know uncheck pause it's still going to be an ish bit slow for me because i am screen recording but for you it should be faster but this is also going to tie into our hamachi part because this is important too um you know uh what you do with hamachi and, and the people that you connect with uh that's that's really important too so anyway uh yep we're just gonna go and be like okay you know so it's it's going a you know 50 speed right now it's okay uh not as fast as it could be but you know all right, guys, so next we go to our uh, Hamachi part of the thingy. So the thing that you might need to know on here is your networks. Okay, as you can see, I don't have a thousand networks that I've been joining because I saw them on people's videos. Make sure you only have a couple of networks to join. Don't join a thousand. All I have here is my network here, my network here, my own network here, Killer B and Jared's network because they can hold up to 256 people's people each, which is equivalent to about 512 different people or some of the same and some Pokemon challenges thing that one of my friends is on. And that's all I'm joining. Don't join a whole bunch of different networks. Please do not because I don't have issues with Kamachi and everything and it's just too much. So make sure you don't do that. Okay, so I'm with my friend Draco right here. Draco. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, ho, ho. so anyway, what we're doing, we are going to ping Dark Drago right here. Now, pinging is important because if someone's online, what you can do, you can right-click their name and click ping. So we're going to ping Dark Drago right here. Now, I, the only reason why this is so high, the ping is like 1,000, 2,000, whatever, is because I'm using Hypercam right now. It, excuse me. And it's taking a lot of my CPU, as you can probably tell. Now, the thing is, the lower your ping, or the lower someone else's ping is, essentially, the easier it is and the faster you can connect with them. Uh, so, what's different about, you know, Hamachi is, like, it depends on your location. Say, for instance, you're trying to connect with someone who's, I don't know, in China and you live in... I don't know, Europe or something, it's it's kind of, it's going to be a little bit slow because you're living extremely far away from a person. Uh, that has a lot to do with it. Uh, we'll see some other things like, I don't know, some people just can't connect. Some people need to reinstall Hamachi. Some people just do not, it can't work. I mean, so pinging is important. So you have uh, you have that tool to make sure you can connect with someone and see if they're fast enough. Fast enough. Sometimes it'll say uh, request with timeout or something because it's taking too long for you to connect with them or whatever. Uh, sometimes you can get through that and still connect anyway, like how I did with uh, this is by my twenties ping and we still connected. Sometimes it you know does that. I don't know why exactly. It's because some people have some firewalls and stuff open, but you know. So the only reason why Hamachi shouldn't work is if your computer is extremely, extremely slow, uh, if you live extremely far away from a person, or if your uh, Hamachi is telling engine work that uh, doesn't stop working or whatever, or if you have, uh, what's it called, a firewall that's blocking the thing. And other than that, it should connect just fine. Remember your ping, remember the techniques I taught you, and you should be good. So 
I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, you know, be sure to subscribe or like or comment or whatever, uh, depending on what you think you should do, uh, please. And uh, thank, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment. I will not judge you. No one else will judge you. It's not that hard. If you have just any questions whatsoever, it, it's just fine. Just leave a comment. I will help you. It's whatever. So anyway, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you can have better experiences with VBA. And I'll